and I don't think it's necessary for the main reason that things are about to get really good. And it's really sad because they're not going to get good for the right reasons. We're about to enter an era that is going to shock a lot of people. I've done the research. I've done, I've seen it. It saddens me that people aren't going to recognize what's happening, but we're about to enter a Sodom and Gomorrah society. I don't, I didn't intend to talk about this in this video. It's not, but I'll go ahead and give a hint. We'll talk about this in another video. Okay, this is what is going on in the world right now. I'm going to give it to you straight deal. The elite know that there is a huge awakening. They understand that they are opposed on many fronts. And they're far smarter than the opposition. There are many militaries that have made secret alliances to overthrow all kinds of elite bases, all kinds of stuff's going on, save the children movements going on, underground bases, dumbs, earthquakes are not earthquakes, they are, they are bombs, whole underground facilities are being nuked. There's all kinds of things going on in the world today. The U.S. military is very active right now, along in combination with our allies, Russia and China. Do not believe the media official narrative that China and Russia are enemies. It's not true. The media is owned by the enemy. But the United States does not have enemies in China or enemies in, in Russia. We are acting in concert right now against a common foe that has run this world for the past 200 years. I'm not going into the, into the specifics, but this enemy is far more genius and brilliant than we have given them credit, given them credit. They're going to feign a defeat. And the people of the world in the next two years are going to celebrate a victory. And they're going to believe that they have overcome an ancient evil. All this is going to be revealed in the media. The media is going to start playing ball. They're going to have to. They're going to be forced and back into that position. Let me put it to you in a, in a, a better way. There is an apocalypse coming, but it's still 19 years away. Much is going to happen before then. Remember, all the prophecies of the apocalypse have a common theme. And that common theme is that as a thief in the night, or they shall cry peace and safety, and then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Remember, the Phoenix date is fixed. It is May 15th or 16th, 2040, depending upon what hemisphere you live in. Again, I have to also I have to also inject the fact that I fully discharged my sentence on May 16th. On May 16th, I was completely done with my with my constructive custody, my parole. I'm done. I am now back. All my rights have been restored after 31 years. This is very interesting because the world turned 6,354 times from the time of my birth to the time that I was uh, incarcerated. And while I was incarcerated, I learned all these things about the Phoenix and Nemesis X object, all these histories, all these chronological. I learned that we are existing within a prison. I was in prison when I found out that my Southern Baptist upbringing is wrong and that I'm existing within a prison. And when I was in prison, I actually became free because I realized every one of us are in the holosphere. We're in a prison. The people who are walking outside of these Texas prison walls are no longer are no freer than I am, and I'm inside of them. I learned about the whole spheric prison called the simulacrum that we live in and how it will collapse. But first, 
the world must be moved from its present position after 6,354 years. I learned these things in prison. And yet, in prison, I was paroled and released for four and a half years. And it just so happens. I had no way to predict it, but it just so happens that my, my parole ended on May 16th, 2021. How crazy is that? We are intrinsically connected holographically to the very things that we discover, we are, and we intend to do. We are. It's not just me. It's every one of you. Every one of you have these, have these same mathematical predicates throughout your lives. You just have to find them.